Hey everybody, Boxing Beekeeper back here for He Works Hard for the Honey. I'm so excited to welcome you guys back into our, our first uh, video of, of the 2019 season. Uh, I had a, a few questions this past week about sort of how the bees arrive, uh, what it's like, and I've actually got a, a couple of different ways the bees are coming. First, just getting back is a package, which uh, you can't see very well in this, but there is uh, three pounds of bees in there, uh, which equals about 15,000. Um, this container's a little different than usual because these are fully bred Russian bees with a Russian queen sort of separate up top here. Um, so they package them a little differently. Uh, you can see they're coming with no resources. We're going to be using uh, what we've got left over from last season. Um, and so they'll essentially be good to go just as soon as they get in there. Uh, get a pair of scissors. Instead of waiting with all the resources they have, they should have accepted the queen by now or should accept her immediately. She's also a, a fully bred Russian queen. Uh, and Russian bees are new to me. I, I've generally had Italians or uh, Carnolians. Um, Russians are not immune, but sort of have become hygienic to some of the um, pests that um, really become problematic for bees. Sorry about that. I've had robbers coming and going um, ever since I set the hives up. Um, so, we're hoping that... Uh, they're going to build up quickly and they're going to be super producers. Um, without further ado, I'm going to get these guys in the hives and we'll get our season off and running. Maybe should have taken a few extra minutes to figure out how to open this guy up, but you guys will learn with me when the beast starts spilling out of here. Huh. This looks like a Lego set, and I would imagine there's probably a really easy way to undo this and put them in there gently, and I unfortunately just don't know what that is. We got a Russian queen here. I'm going to be letting her out and putting her right onto the frame. Uh, but in the meantime, I've got 30,000 bees that are just dying to get out of here. And I Going 
to oblige them. these over so I got one good shot and uh, if I had been smart which no one's ever accused me of uh, I would have soaked them down with a little bit of sugar water I'm going to let the queen out, right onto the comb so she can start doing her queen thing. Thought being that the uh, two or three days that they've been in the package here uh, should have been enough time um, for them to accept that she's one of them, uh, despite the fact that in a package uh, these bees are not genetically related. Ooh, I'm getting used to. Um, having bees on me again. <laughs> right. <laughs> it tickles a little. when doing this not to go yes queen yes so I did alright so what I'm doing is just getting through the there's a, a, a sugar a kind of fondant barrier um, that is supposed to give them enough time to make sure they have accepted the queen. to hurt the queen and once the queen is in the hive the rest of these bees out front will sort of seeing that um, they've they've been dropped in a good place and picking up on the uh, the scent of the queen should uh, head right in there I just want to make sure she's 
not close by while I'm... And she's in. She'll start doing her queen thing. And I'm going to give these guys one or two more shakes. guys and that's one package down simple simple I'm gonna lean this against here for them to start making their way up Because this is a package and it didn't already come with its own resources, um, I took some of the leftover honey from one of the supers from last year and gave these guys a little head start. say if you put this on carefully you don't even crunch any bees Voila, one hive down. Now there were no obvious problems when I threw the queen in there, but I'll probably check back in a couple of days. I need that. Ah, uh, to make sure that she has in fact been accepted, that she's in there and that she's laying. And again, this hive, and I picked this one because um, we've just sort of consistently had strong hives here in Hive 2. Um, so we got some new equipment that's a little bit different than what we've, we've typically been using. Um, oh, hey there. And um, this is kind of an experiment this year to see um, if Russian bees really sort of um, live up to their reputation as, as big producers, as uh, bees that respond to the weather, so they'll reduce their um, population during the dearth, which usually happens here in southern Maine uh, in the month of July, where things dry up a little bit, there's not a lot of food, they'll respond by um, dropping their population. Um, to save resources. Um, so I'm going to suit up and I will see you guys over and we'll do the same thing for Hive 3. Thanks.